Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I used printable heat transfer material on a t-shirt using my inkjet printer. This is a great product to use if you want a design with multiple colors, which would end up being too much to layer heat transfer vinyl on. First thing that I'm going to do is download my design for my t-shirt. I downloaded this off of the hungryjpeg.com. This is their bundle that they have right now. It's the magical bundle. It is $29. You get 50 fonts and 50 graphics. When you scroll down, you can see all of the different fonts. They have so many. Then you can also see the different graphics here. These are used for print and cut projects. That is mainly what you could use with these different graphics. And they just have a ton. They're all kind of summery, tropical, lots of cute ones. These also all have a commercial license. I'll put this link down in the description box and I'll have a code that you can use to get 5% off of this bundle and that code will last for the full 32 days that this is available. I'm gonna click on upload and I'll upload my image. Here's the magical bundle and this one was under the part four. I decided that I'm going to use this pink unicorn I'm making this t-shirt for my daughter and I just love all of the bright vibrant colors in it so I thought it would be fun to choose something like that for a printable design so then I'll click on complex and hit continue and I'll hit continue again and you can see how these designs work just for the print and cut if you're trying to do a cut image it just won't work so I'm gonna hit save and then I'll just insert this image into design space. My design, I am going to make five inches wide. Since this is set to a print thin cut already, then we are ready to click on make it. I'll just hit continue. With the principal material that I'm using, it says to keep the mirror off. It says do not mirror the image. And it'll depend on what type of printable material you have and what brand it is. But the one I'm using says to not mirror it. So I'm just going to leave that off. I'm going to click send to printer. Down here where it says use system dialog, it used to say, I think, advanced settings. But I'm going to click turn that on because when I click on print, it'll come up with a screen that will let me change my preferences. I also want to keep the bleed on. So then I'll click on print. And you can see the screen came up and I want to click on preferences. I want to do best photo. If I don't click it to best photo, then the colors just won't be as bright. So I'm going to click OK and I'll show you how this prints off on my printer. I'm using the StarCraft printable material. I bought this off of 651vinyl.com. I just love this company and buy a lot of my vinyl from them. This was $22 for a pack of 10 sheets. You can find other brands as well, but after reading lots of reviews, this seemed to be a popular one. So that's why I thought I would give this a try. The StarCraft material comes in a pack used for white material and a pack for dark material. The light material can only go on white shirts, but I've found that the dark material works on any color shirt, even white. The StarCraft for dark material also doesn't need as much pressure as the light, so this is much easier to use with an easy press. So that's why I like to use the dark material. The printer I'm using is an Epson Workforce 435. I bought this probably seven years ago and it still works great. I get so many questions on what type of printer to buy and you just want to make sure it's an inkjet inkjet printer and that it has a rear feed tray. I set my dial to vinyl. This setting worked great for me and I'm using the Cricut Explore Air. I place the sheet on my blue mat. This is the light grip mat which works better for thinner material. I was careful when I set it down to not touch the ink since I didn't let it dry all the way before I had the Cricut cut it out. The Cricut will read those black registration lines first and then it'll cut out the design.
I start weeding my material. I waited at least half an hour before I started to weed because I wanted to let this ink dry. And this material can be somewhat difficult to weed. I like to take my tool and gently lift up all of the sides before I take this off. Also, if you don't have one big image like I do, and if you have wording to go along with your design, I highly recommend buying the heat transfer mask. This is basically the same thing as transfer paper, and you just place this over your design, and then it'll pick it up with the heat transfer mask. Um, you can buy this off of 651vinyl.com also, but since this is one big design, I decided not to use it. I set my Easy Press to 350 degrees at 30 seconds. I fold my t-shirt in half and run my Easy Press over the crease to find the center of my shirt. Then I pick up my principal design and place it on the shirt. If you are using the heat transfer mask, that would be layered on top of the design. You want to use either parchment paper or a Teflon sheet to put over your design. I recommend using a firm amount of pressure on your Easy Press. I also don't recommend using the light printable material using your Easy Press. With that, you need a lot more pressure, so you would need a heat press. But with the dark material, as long as you use that firm pressure, it should work well. If you are using a heat transfer mask, you need to wait for it to cool completely before you peel that off. I feel like the color turned almost like a peachy color compared to pink after being pressed, but after you wash the shirt a few times, it should brighten up. This shirt was so much fun to make. The material has washing instructions on the package. I plan on washing this several times and doing an updated video to let everyone know how it washes. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and have a great day.